Hey everybody, welcome back. We're in Saint Denis. We've got a, a stranger to see, and then uh, a couple other people. Dutch is here as well. Actually, I think Dutch is the one. I think Dutch. Yeah, he's the only other person we need to see now uh, in Saint Denis. So, and that'll likely be for a pretty big job. So, unless this stranger wants something crazy, which is usually not the case. What the hell? What? Is what is going on here? Why do I waste my time? Why? <sighs> You're right there, partner. You okay, bud? Oh. Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors Another and professor. slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me, please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <sighs> <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. <laughs> Say thank you, Marco. <laughs> thank you. Okay, I like thank him already. What are you, actually. some kind of European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ice, like I say. <laughs> toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? Uh, no. No. <laughs> no, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> what the hell is it? I am the savior of the mankind, Bobby. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> they won the silver tongue American betray and, and not pay the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. <laughs> it is demonstration of my genius. Good nickname. Of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. <laughs> waves I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. Uh, <laughs> ladies! <laughs> gentlemen! Speaking of. Oh, <laughs> chante. Yes. Hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. I don't, why am I even here? All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see. I will power this boat. You're a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up Who the like a this buffoon guy now? is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? Oh. So, <laughs> Professor, show us your magical toy boat. Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about oh, to prove that. Great. Here, take this, and this, and uh, don't touch that. Use this Aim, one to fire, steer, reverse, and steer. this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now, now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have <laughs> magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bot. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships... Look at this! Imagine what technology can do that is so in the cool. hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. The mines will be attracted towards the boat if it gets too close. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. No pulley system underwater. Only waves in the air. This is remarkable. This is Think so of cool. Those poor boys on the HL Hunley. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death. The transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like that. Oh, I missed. Well, I was like, cool guys I'm don't look sure at explosions, but apparently I should have. Look out, look out. There, I'm gone for you. <laughs> yes, 
You see what he does? Now bring me back to the dump. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. <laughs> it let me just reload her. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. This is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Which is why now, they're here. the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of park. Still avoiding magnetic mines. No, oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for the smart talk. Maybe too far. Oh, it's these the little things. <laughs> The uh. telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian Wait, in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the. Oh, air. yeah, those guys are putting like the boats the out. Okay, I was like, we're going to take down the cables. Funding from us and funding from you, of course. But what a thing to fund! What an opportunity! No one is stupid enough to pass this up. Not even me with here. Hey, you really all work on your salesmanship. <laughs> Americans, all you think about is sales. Invasive maneuvers. I go with that. No. Nope. Very good. Very good. Now bring in the boat back here. Full proof. But you are not fool. <laughs> then, as I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. <laughs> it's incredible. Color me impressed. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. <laughs> that will astound all of you. <laughs> Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. Oh, damn right, I will. There, I will really amaze you. I'm interested. Um, <clears throat> and I hope you will forgive my... That was cool. Did not expect it. Okay, Dutch. I imagine this is going to be a big deal. I do. Uh, when that's done... Oh, Jim Boy Calloway. Way up here in Valentine, eh? That's cool. Okay, we got a lot of stuff that we can do. We'll deal with Dutch first. And then this a-hole. Hey, move it! What's wrong, man? Yeah, wrong Not that I'm really invested in that professor, but... I'm interested now in what else he's got going yeah. on. Little remote control missile boats. Where is he? Is he in the... I think he's in the next one. Not in the theater. I heard Lenny. Okay. Ah, there he is. There you are. Come on. Keep walking. You're late. Well, days in this place, you turned into some clock-watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave. Forever. Wait, We've what? We've been doing well, making money. But for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear. Be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific. And where the hell is that the money? Tahitians, I guess. Oh, well, we made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. 
So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then, well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on! Ladies and gentlemen, Simple as this, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now remember, we just want money. Don't make us kill you. Mr. M, leave these fine folks of their valuables. Mr. Oh, M, don't do everything you got. Just hand it over, buddy. It's, it's not Mr. worth it. George, not mine. Finally, open that gate and let my acquaintance get some. All your money now. Don't make Bandit me Bandit challenge? Twice. Okay. I sign it's yours. Open the gate and let my acquaintance in. Yes, of course. All right. Hand over your money. There's now. nothing much here. Of course, of what? Course, just There's nothing it. really here. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you. Behave. We don't want to hurt any of you. Uh, let me see if I can fix this up just a little bit. Mr. M, check the set. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! I mean, he's right, it's not much. Doesn't seem like we really planned this job. There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's oh, no yeah, the mayor, stacks. yeah. A few dollars in coins, that's it. Damn! We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Frick! We got you surrounded! That's greasy son of a bitch! He yeah. shut us up! You think this seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur? What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something! The trolley. The trolley! Follow me, gentlemen! Go now! Ha! Does this trolley go to Tahiti? Just like skipped right over his head. Outside the saloon. Oh damn. We are really moving here. Arthur, slow us down. Slow this thing down. I'll try. Well, we're dead. The thing's broke. Hold on! Oh. I like that we were at least subtle about everything. Dutch. You okay, Dutch? Just about. He's fine. Oh, shit. Come on. Watch out! Don't want about to be here. How many of them? Ah! Just keep shooting. There we go. 
Okay, let's move! Come on! Keep running! Why am I not running? What the frick was that? Face wiener. <laughs> okay, boss, let's move. Oh. All right. Where the hell? Am I driving? Shit, Actually, no, I'm not. Oh, you survived that? Hello. Oh God. I guess that'll work. You see any more? Just keep going, kid. Look at that freaking bounty. Don't worry about me. Just get us out of here. Let's 
pricey. That cost me a lot. It's more than what we got out of that safe, I'm sure. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, it's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. And we each got... $15. Jesus. So, and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Problem is, is if he knows that we did it, even if I pay off a bounty, you would assume. On us. What do we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. You have to show him who's boss. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Hosea agrees. Yeah, that's Even the big after one. That, especially after that. I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, you can't win them all. That's right. All right, cool. Actually, that went way better than I thought it was gonna. Till Ken kill ten lawmen on the trolley. Well, still handled business. Okay, so from here we are obviously gonna have to pay off that bounty when we're in that area. Uh, but I think what we want to do is head up to where is it? Up over in this area, Valentine and Eagle Flies. And then maybe it, after that, we can go back down to our camp. Wait, where is our camp from here? Oh, our camp's way down here. Well, we'll figure it out because we so we'll have to pay off the bounty while we're in there. So, yeah. Let's, let's head up to Eagle Flies. And they said this they would pay us pretty well for this job, but you never know. Actually. It's all right, boy. Yep. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, good boy. Yeah. I'm trying to think of what else we could even spend our money on other than horses. Like clothing, yeah, but weapons, I think we pretty much have everything that we would want. There's a little bit of that dissonance in this game where... What the... In this game where you... We're constantly like, we want money, we want money, we want money. But like, I've spent thousands and thousands of dollars. And yet, we just keep yearning for more and more and more. And like, we do these jobs that get us, what, 15, 20 bucks sometimes? Like, sad. But then I'm over here with like 1,100 bucks in my pocket. I think the most we had was 3,000 after we did that other little bank job. A big city bank, though, could pose a few more problems. We might have to do the same thing where we uh, get into the safes quickly. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm just gonna venture into this stable here real quick. I'm gonna see what they're selling. Not that I don't like you. This is who is this? Is Mr. Chucky, right? Yeah.
But I'm just curious to see what we have going on. Welcome. You need help? Uh, like this guy I don't need. He was our random that we got. Mr. Walker was our first ever horse. Can't get rid of him. Chucky's doing great. Missouri Fox Trotter. Unique. Expensive. I don't know if that's the one that I want. You know, it doesn't it doesn't say buy me. I'll take good care of your horse while you're gone. Thank you. Yeah. So perhaps catching a wild one or maybe different stables as well could have better options that we might find more interesting. I'm going to see if we can cut across here. Uh -oh. All right, as soon as that ledge comes and you see the rock, you're like, well, okay, boy. we're committed. Yeah. At least it's not like a head-on that we've had a few hundred times. It's always scary going over the ridge like that, because I think right, we're just going to have a sudden drop-off. Trying to jump Shut to the up. wagon. Shut up. Move now. You want to stop my patience? Yes, child. Ah. <laughs> what, what are you doing? Ah. Come on. I can't even shoot him. We have a lot of witnesses here. Sorry, buddy. Please, please don't leave me in here. You will now remain in Deadeye when you fire your weapon. If you do not have a, I don't, I didn't catch oh, what that on. said. Let me out of here. All right. <laughs> Jesus. I just felt like she needed our help, you know? Okay. I gotta equip a weapon. Springfield there. Double barrel shot. Let's go. I gotta kill a witness. Oh, I just blew his head off. If I'm going to help those people willy-nilly, I could probably just wear the mask, but... Yeah. Sometimes you feel like helping somebody out. Sometimes that involves killing lawmen. Sometimes it doesn't. We should lose him here, and then we can talk to uh, that guy. Yum, cigarettes. Fifty bucks. Okay, well, good thing we got cash. Let's shine this puppy up. Looking good. I 
I need something like normal-ish. Yeah, bolt action's okay. Alright, so I don't know where he is, but he should be over here soon. Maybe after this heat calms down, and then we can go in there. <laughs> 